by Cougar Reservoir, where thick smoke hangs in the air caused by not one, but two fires burning on opposite sides of the reservoir. Access to the Twilliger Hot Springs and the Scenic Road have been closed. More than 20 firefighters are battling a raging wildfire near Cougar Reservoir. Darren Cross with the U.S. Forest Service says they have been fighting the fire aggressively since it was first reported Sunday afternoon on the trail near the Twilliger Hot Springs. Crews had to tell some campers to get out as flames approached. Uh, very soon after our folks arrived, uh, it was pretty obvious that this fire was... Um, was torching and getting up into the trees and, and going to move pretty quickly. While Darren believes embers from the fire crossed the reservoir and started a second blaze, they don't know how it sparked up in the first place. A Type 3 incident management team made up of 20 firefighters from New Mexico has been called up to take the lead on fighting the fires. Uh, anytime a fire goes from zero to 100 acres within a few hours, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's burning uh, pretty, pretty hot. It's burning pretty, uh, pretty thoroughly. Access to the Ofter Heidi Scenic Highway, which includes the Twilliger Hot Springs, is now closed as crews work to get the fires under control. Four helicopters have been dumping water on the fires, but heavy smoke grounded air units Monday morning. Crews are working with the Oregon Department of Forestry to protect nearby private timberland. Chris Klein with the Oregon Department of Forestry says with so many other fires burning in Oregon and Washington, it's been hard getting the needed manpower and other resources. The, the system's uh, really strapped right now. Um, nationally as well as uh, regionally, uh, Oregon and Washington, there are, there are very few resources left available. So it's, uh, you know, it's a very difficult situation. Officials say no structures are being threatened and so far no one has been injured. Officials with the Forest Service told me they plan to have an infrared flight tonight so they can get a better understanding of what they're dealing with. Reporting from the Lima National Forest, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News. Thank you, Mike.